Welcome back. This is lesson eight in this section of the training working with data, cells, rows, and column. Still on the training how to get started with Excel. In this lesson, we'll be looking at how you find and replace data. I am Amakai Febunandu, your instructor. To find data, you use your Ctrl F. That's a shortcut. Quite effective. You use Ctrl F. I'll show you that using the on screen keyboard. While your control key, you press your control key down. While it's down, you press your letter F. Immediately you do that, the, the find and replace dialog box comes up. Or you go to your home tab under the editing section, find and replace, then the find. When you select this, the find and replace dialog box comes with the find tab being active. I'll close it and use the control F and you'll see it's the same. So you see that the find and replace tab is up with the find tab being active. Now, what do we want to find? Let's say I'm looking for a customer called Favor. I have to type it, Favor, right. So this is what I want to find. And there are options that I can apply while finding this particular data in the worksheet. So I click on this tab. So it pops up other options I can apply to help me find this particular uh, data favor. So first of all, do, do them, is there any formatting in the cell I'm looking out for? Uh, based on this training, there's no formatting. So I won't select any formatting. It's just a plain text favor. So where am I looking at within? Is it within the worksheet or within the entire workbook? I'm looking for it within a worksheet. But if you're looking for it within the entire workbook, you can select the workbook option here. Now, am I searching by rows or by column? I'm searching by rows. So it will have to find it in that row before it takes me to the next row. Row by row, from one row to another. If I want to search by column, I select by columns. And looking for, where am I looking for this favor? Is it in a formula? Is it in values or in a comment? It depends. So I can click on values here. Then in the match case, if I check this box, What I want Excel to do is to look for this favor with F being the capital that is, is case sensitive. It will be looking for favor that has F as capital letter first, right? Though I'm not using this now, but when you click on, when you check this box, it will match, it will become case sensitive in, in the sense that if I type in capital letter, it will look for favor that has capital letter. If I type in small letter, it will look for favor with small letters the cells that has favor with small letters. If I type it in, a, in this format, the proper format, that is the first um, letter it's cut, it will, it will look for it. But if I don't check it, it doesn't consider whether it's capital or not capital. So I'll just leave it, I won't check this. Now, match entire cell content. Do I want to look for just a cell that has only favor or both or a cell that has whether favors venture, favor, favor Nigeria limited, as long as there is favor in it, that is where. So that's where you check this box. If you want to match the entire content, if you want it to match the entire content, that is, you want uh, a um, cell that has only favor to be found, then you click on this. But I want cell that has favor, even if it's favor enterprise, if it's just only favor, if it's favor Nigeria limited, as long as there is favor in that cell, I want it to be found. So I won't be sticking this unless I want only the cell that have favor, then I will take match entire cell content. I will not check for both. For the purpose of this training, I want cell that has favor in it, not minding whether it's only favor that is on that cell or favors venture or favor Nigeria limited. So I won't be checking this, right? So when I'm done with all this, I'll click on find all. The find all helps to check all the cells, it, lists, it will now list all the cells that have favor in it. Why the fineness will start from the first cell. If I click on it again, it will take me to the next cell that has favor. Now watch and see. Just watch this area as I click on fineness. It will take me to the first cell that has favor in it, right? You can see favors venture. I click on fineness again. It takes me to the second one. You're watching that. I click on it to take me. If I click, it starts again. So that's how the fineness works. Now, if I say find all, watch what happens. Now, it's, it's telling me that three cells are found with it. I'll just expand this so that you can see. It will now list the three cell. You know, I just selected this and it immediately took me there. You know, it will now list the three cells 
with their cells. So this is saying B21 and B24 and the values in it. So I will now know, okay, this has favor ventures, this has favor ventures, and this has only favor in it, right? So these are the things you, uh, these are the ways you can find the uh, data you're looking for. You can find clicking on next, 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 and you can just click on find all and now look at the one you're looking out for, right? So this is how you go about using the find future in Excel. Next, let's look at the replace. To use the replace, we use the control H. Control H, just as I showed you initially, you press your control key while it's down, you press your H, right? Immediately the find and replace dialog box comes up. Or you go to your home tab, under the editing section, click on the find and select, then you go to replace. Immediately, the find and replace um, dialog box pops up with the replace tab being active. You can see the replace tab is active. Now, I'll use the control H to do that. Control H, you see, the find and replace is up with the replace tab being active. Because we, are, we, are, we had find favor before, that's why you see, you say find where the favor is there. So, I'll just continue with this. There is no formatting. Now, it's asking me to replace it with what? Right. What do I want to replace it with? I'll just say replace it with joy. All right. So wherever it's, there is favor, replace it with joy. Because I'm finding it within the sheet by rows. Yes, formula also uh, work the same as um, if, 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 if I select look for formula, it also look for it in cell here. That's what I noticed. Then here, I'm not using the match case. I'm not using the match entire cell. So wherever it finds favor, it should replace it with uh, joy. So what I'll do is I can say find. Maybe I don't want to replace it with by all. I want to replace a particular uh, cell that has favor. I'll use this. But first of all, I'll have to find that cell. So I'll be going find this. I'll be going to. So this is the this is the one I want to replace. I can even say find all. Find all. Then I drag, I select the last one where I have only favor in it. So it's this particular one. I immediately I select the one and say replace that one. So immediately it replaces that last one to join and takes me back to the next cell that has favor in it. Right. If I want to replace all, I will just click on replace all and it replaces all the cells with join. Right. So this is how you use the find and replace feature in Excel. This brings us to the end of this lesson. I hope to see you in the next lesson. Bye.